Uh, we got a lot of draws off the top that do just kill him there. So, and the mana's not really an issue right now, so. I guess let's go. What do you know, speaking of draws off the top that kill people. Carl, that kills people! So we do some of this. And then we do some of this. And the patience pays off. Let's go. How's it going, y'all? TitansFan920 here with another Gruel Midrange recording. Uh, made a few changes since last time. We have two Lightning Strike in main now and went down to Legion Warboss. We've also went to a 3 3 split on Sark and Anissa just to kind of vary that option base that we have there. Uh, one is better than other in certain situations, and then sometimes the other one's better. Uh, sideboard has changed a good little bit. Uh, it was posted on the r slash spike subreddit and had some suggestions there, which are pretty good. So, this is what I'm tinkering with right now. Hopefully, it works out well. Uh, funny enough, since the last recording and posting of everything, I have been just god awful. I have, I was a win away from gold one last time, and now I have dropped all the way down to gold four. Uh, it's just been a comedy of errors. There's things not going my way. Super unlucky. Uh, but but in the end, I'm the common denominator here, so I have to believe maybe it's me. But we'll just see how it goes. This recording, I guess. So this first game, we get no lands, and this is kind of what I've dealt with about about the past three days, really. Um, this one's this is just very slow, but we can't go down to five. Uh, Spellbreaker helps a little bit here, I guess, but we'll play play land past the turn. But we'll we'll hope things can turn around. It's just man, it's it's been rough rough sailing for late for me lately. So we got some Temple Guard. Looks like some Bant. Okay. This is like the Bant manipulation deck we've been seeing. Let's go ahead and throw down Legion War Boss first turn. I would love if he wanted to block here, but I'm sure he doesn't. This next turn, we'll probably play Gruel Spellbreaker as a 4-4 because they want to throw some Nisses at our face is how this deck works. Prison Ram, okay. Well, that makes me a sad panda. But that's gone. Goodbye, my friend. Okay, so Shock's actually really nice draw here. So we'll actually shock, shock right here. Play us a thick spellbreaker. And get those goblin beats in. If we draw a turn land next turn, we're playing us a Sarkon. Okay, I guess mono prison realm dot deck. Punish for playing the 4-4 there. Could have had three more damage on him. I still think like with the possibility of a Nissa, that's right. But now that we know he's missing lands, let's go to town. And hey, at least two prison realms are out of hand, so there's that, right? So if he doesn't have a prison realm or a big answer this turn, we're going to have a pretty big swing on him and follow it up with a phoenix, which is really nice. Oh, let's see. Oh. What do you do, man? What do you do? So we'll be definitely having some Bronthodons and company coming in here, that's for sure. And he drew a land, so he may as well play it. I don't know what you're waiting for, idiot. Like, you can only do one thing. boy. So... Swing with both. Play as a Phoenix. Hey, at least we got at least we got Lightning Strike for any kind of Nissa shenanigans he wants to throw at us this next turn. Does he have a fourth prison realm? Maybe he has four prison realms. If so, more power to the man. Baffling in that'll kill us a that'll kill us a dang old dang old dragon token. So I guess this is actually just Bant enchantments. Okay, that's a good draw. So we'll get to swing in here, see if he wants to block. We got him down to seven. We'll go ahead and place a phoenix here. Uh, if he wants to use an enchantment this next turn and get a phoenix. Okay, what a weird deck. Would love to see what the top end threats there. But so as far as what comes in... Uh, War boss is probably good. I don't know actually if he's bringing in Nissa. Let's bring in the obvious ones right now. Of Brontodon's good because it destroys enchantments. Cinder vines destroys enchantments, and I don't know. Ooze is something kind of nice, but I also don't want him to have that top end. Uh, Ferris would be good just because we can't we can keep it all verse stuff away from it. 
he has to like pay pay to do something single damage to it there. As far as what comes out, Thorn Lieutenant can stay because of getting targeted by that kind of removal is fine. Uh, Warp also seem weird there, so we'll take it out. And as far as four more cards, I think Lightning Strike isn't going to do anything that Shot can. Well, I guess it does kill. It does kill Nissa lands if that's a thing. Maybe I'm just worrying too much about Nissa. I think on the draw here, we just take out the Land of War Elves. I'll probably change that back once we're on the play. And we're back. Play it forward. Just take it easy on us, man. I need I need the confidence back. This is nothing exciting, but we have turn one shock, so yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Donner is a good draw there. Especially if he like cramps into something on turn turn three here, we could play Domri and pass. Or had add mana with a shock. Here we just enter that tapped and pass the turn. What's he got? Jade Light, we will probably shock in response here. Let's go ahead and do that. Don't want him finding too much of anything here if we can help it. Paradise Druid. If he wants to keep that on top, I'd be happy. Ixalange Binding. Let's see if he wants to... I'd rather him binding a Domri than a Phoenix. So we'll go ahead and play this past the turn if he wants to spend four mana his whole turn here doing this to Domri, then we'll play your Phoenix next turn. So, cool. And luckily, we do have a lot of enchantment hate, so if we need to pull that out, that could actually be a really good one to pop out on him. So here, we'll play a Phoenix. Pass the turn. And hopefully start seeing some of that enchantment removal that we brought in. So he'll play Baby Crasis. I'm assuming he probably did that to try to find the land. Oh, that's real nice. So let's play us Anissa. We'll plus here. We'll do it on mountain for the time being. And swing swing seven at him. Like him him swinging two and this is not really gonna scare us that bad. We got a hell of a clock on him here at this point. What would be super nice is to get like a Cinder Vines this next turn, be able to play that for one mana, untap, shoot the Ixalan's Binding, and then get Domri back. That'd be sweet. But that'd be too easy. Trasani's a good one. So he can swing at that. That's annoying, but we'll survive. Um, That's great. Oh, we can't cast it, though. Ugh. Ugh. So we'll play this. Play a Sarkon. Now the question is do we swing at him? And I think the answer is yes. Because uh, that's eight in the air there. I don't know how well he can actually block that. Maybe we just go all out here with and swing though. I think we do. This is 8 in the air. He's going to gain some life off of this, but not too much. I don't know. Maybe we just hold a dragon back after... A, yeah, let's just do that. Let's not go too crazy. And then... I think we actually make another dragon here, don't we? No, because that taps all of our lands, and that's just kind of awkward. Um, we'll do this. He wants to go out and try to kill Sarkon. That's, we got another one back up ready to roll. Let's see what Prism Realm is taking from us. At this point, he probably needs to be taking a Phoenix. I know, I'm sure he's like focused on our Planeswalker, but yeah, Phoenix is the right call there. And Baffling in. Strange, strange deck. Okay, Phoenix isn't bad. So we'll play us a red. 
play this, right? Untap a mountain. Honestly, I'm thinking I just swing in here. Swing here. We got plenty of blockers to hold back here for this next turn. Unless he just goes crazy with enchantments here. We should have this in the bag. He's going to have a hard time just like fighting through all that and killing all those planeswalkers. And he's got to kill Sark in this turn or else that's like the super big clock where he's just dead. Yeah, Shalai, Shalai is not going to be enough to do it, I don't think. Though, I will say it does get better with the 5 butt there from Tristani. Helps a lot. Even so, I, I think that's not enough. Um, so we'll... Hmm. Trying to think here. We have one, two, three in the air. He's got He's got two two blockers in the air. Yeah, he's he's just dead. Oh, we can't shock him though. That's so frustrating. Um Hmm. That's like mega tilting. Uh, this can make his blocks kind of funky too, right? Let's swing with everything. Because he's at least jump blocking for days here at this point. Shalai, why is you so annoying? Because he's going to gain some life from this. But at least we have all these like tokens out of the way and whatnot and clean it up. So is that the decision there, my friend? We're waiting. Alright. So we'll shock here. Since it's the only place we can shock. And now he's got a lone Tristani, and we've got all this goodness. So unless he's got... I don't even know what he could have at this point. Yeah, GG, man. Let's go. And as I was saying, we've been struggling, so we have crawled up to gold three by God. Let's play another one. Don't want to test for luck too much, you know. Like that one win, I'm, I'm obviously asking for a whole bunch here. Been playing a bunch of unranked games at work just for fun on my lunch break and whatnot. Alright, we're back. Ready for game number two against Theo Dave Rocket Pack. That's a, that's a hell of a name right there, my friend. So we'll take the play first. And oh my god, is that turn one Land War Elf and it's a turn three play? <sighs> what did we do to deserve it? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Well, Theo Dave Rocket Pack is taking very long to decide about this. Like, very long. Holy moly. Dude. I guess we're going to grow old together here. Alright, one year later, motherfuckers finally kept decided to keep his hand. Whew. Maybe that just means it's very sketchy. Okay. So we'll ramp out old Domri here. Plus add green pass the turn. Would love to be played like it just something something we could shock. Play Grow Chamber Guardian or play a Play an incubation druid. 
looking to be Bant Ramp. Okay. So we don't get to punish this. So we'll get the big old two damage Land of War Elves beat zone. You know your deck's playing really well when you're swinging with Land of War Elves. We'll pass the turn there, I guess. See what happens. Spiral of Growth. Let's see what he's got to plop down on his turn three, y'all. Little to fairy, all right. Like, what are you even bouncing if you're just bouncing? Okay. Weird. Ah, uh, okay. So here, I guess we just minus down, keep our shock, target this, fight this, go to attacks, swing here. Place a land and an Atlanta War Elf and pass the turn. So, not the best start, not the worst start, just kind of meh. And this is one that's usually Legion War Boss, so right now, especially that not being Legion War Boss feels very bad. But I'm listening to you, Reddit. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to take y'all as advice. What else has he got here? Okay, more lands and nothing to really do. One, two, three. We're actually gonna we're gonna add this and just pay this now. We're gonna swing nine. We're gonna put him on two turn clock here. We got Mega Burn in hand. So let's see what he's got. Tell Samir, okay. Alright, so. I guess we go to swing in here, right? Yeah, let's go to swing in. Hopefully, he just, if he doesn't block, he's dead. So we'll grow this. And then now we can minus down. Have this fight. Though I almost wanted to fight Jade Light Ranger. Or not Jade Light Ranger. Jeez, Tulsimir. Uh, do we do this and keep him off the mana? Like, as crazy as it sounds, I think we do. Cause he's he's going to be able to swing down and kill this anyway. So yeah, let's actually kill the Paradise Druid. That way, if he wants to do this again, he's going to have to draw a land and play it and kill this one off. Because right now, that's his only way of clearing this board, is to fight. Okay, honestly rude, but... Little fairy, if he wants to bounce Thorn Lieutenant, he probably wants to bounce his own thing. Okay, well, this is still going to kill, kill your Teferi at least. Jesus. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mega frustrating. That we got to spend damn shock here just to kill a Teferi. Let's go to combat. Okay, and then now that all tapper's done being stupid, we we do this and pass the turn. I really don't want to use any of my removal on this Tulsa Mirror. I want to use it on his face, but he's doing just enough to kind of piss us off and make us have to. Excellent draw here would be Viv, or not Viv, Nissa. Dear. Manadork City. 
If you pass the turn here, we probably try to light and strike that Tulsa mirror. Okay. So now that the road is a little bit more clear, we draw another land, no biggie. Actually does help that we can hold up shock and be able to pump though. So let's see what he does. If he wants to trade a token for a Paradise Druid, we cool with that. Do we Do we pump here? So that'll be six seven. I think we do. Let's just hope he doesn't have a big way of gaining life here. He's thinking. Breast stinking. Heart is sinking. Can you just like give up, bud? I don't wanna I don't wanna keep doing this. I just wanna win. Theo Theo's a patient man, I'll give him that. He likes to think through every single decision there is out there, which is good magic. Remember that time that I wanted? Okay, so that's annoying, but maybe okay. Uh for how much? For four. Yeah, we let him have that. Okay. Another land. We'll go ahead and swing with both here because he's got a block. One, two, three, four. Why the hell would you tap it this way? This way we still have both shocks held up in case we need. Thorn Lieutenant, he's he's keeping us in this game. He's trying his damnedest. They just got like another crisis because that'd be pretty annoying. You motherfucker. But I guess we still just let it resolve for now. Uh, we got a lot of draws off the top that do just kill him though. So, and the mana's not really an issue right now, so... Guess let's go. What do you know? Speaking of draws off the top that kill people, Carl, that kills people. So we do some of this, and then we do some of this, and the patience pays off. Let's go. Game two. Um, it's a frustrating game. Like, this deck is hard to play against, man. Probably one of the best decks of standard right now, I'd say. Uh, with two, two Ferox, so they're kind of hard to steal. Um, Lava Cool is, like, probably just a little too slow for most of what we want to do here. But, yeah, I guess we still, I don't know. Warball seemed like it'd be okay here, because I doubt they're going to be blocking it. And the Ooze, we just, that just seems scary for them to take that. I think we just roll with this and see what we got for the time being. Um, as far as what to take out, uh, so the the ramp, I guess the lightning strikes probably just a little bit too slow. But those kill the lands though. Maybe we don't want more boss at all, or the phoenix is just too slow. We're gonna take out four phoenix. And we're back. Let's see what see what our man decides to do here. Uh, this opener's pretty pretty solid. Can't ask for too much more than that. Hopefully we can get us down. Oh man, play land warrior. Let's go. 
We'll bolt the bird right away. These are pretty pretty good cards to have. We got the mana for it, it looks like so. Paradise Druid, always annoying because you can't do much of anything with it. Play this tap, pass turn. Incubation Druid. Go ahead and play your land, my friend. If he doesn't have it land, that's freaking wonderful for us. So he doesn't have a land. Uh, we could plus here. And if we plus here, does he have enough to adapt that? He'll have enough to adapt it, but not attack if we do. So I think we're actually good just playing this and plusing it for now. That way, if he doesn't draw a land this next turn or do anything of action, uh, we play a, play a Nyssa. And be feeling... Okay. Well, that's, you know, that's about the worst thing that could have happened. This is just ungodly good, man. So, I guess we just probably plus up and play a Sarkon here. Like, we're in, we're in trouble no matter what now, even though he missed that land drop. That's just brutal. Minus this. Let's see what he wants to swing at. He's still, like, with him being stuck at lands, like, if we can just start trading these off, he is going to run out of resources decently fast. Oh, that's super unfortunate. I really need to side in some, like, fiery candidate against this, stuff like this. Being able to pop that Paradise Druid and Incubation Druid when he was stuck there, that would just been game-ending. It's like you don't even need to draw lands when you're drawing this hut. And the decision's not here. Like, just fucking attack me with both of these and then adapt. It's not a hard decision. I wonder why bad players have to take so long sometimes. The salt's real. Dude, just do what you gotta do. So we'll see if he's got anything else before we can see it here. Cool. That's a nightmare. So, Lava Cool has come in. Basically, just want every kind of removal we can have now. Um, so, probably do that. And take out... Like, I don't want to be taking out all this top end, but it does seem awkward. Do this. Even Sarkin seems kind of rough here at the tokens. Let's do that. I think we want to kind of aggro and just keep the pressure on as much as we can. I don't know. It's a weird one that I need to learn how to sideboard against. But game three against Theo Dave Rocket Pack. Let's get it done. So we'll be on the play... That's a that's a decent hand for being on the play. We can turn one lava or land of war elves. Turn two. Shock. And he's bowling. Go to five, man. I I got I ain't too proud for easy victories. Go to two. Let's let's just live off the top. We're gonna be hoping to draw some lands here. But if we do, we got a pretty sweet, pretty sweet start. Uh, so nothing, nothing too exciting to do here. But hold up, lightning strike, shock, and lava core. At least we got removal now, which is something we desperately needed the last time. And we're just really gonna be hoping for a land here. If he's just playing that right now, we might be okay. So we'll go ahead and shock there. Unfucking fortunate we can't hit a land. Ugh. And this time I think we're just going to play the 1-1 one, one counter. We're not going to be taking it. we get, we got to have blockers back for Nissa and things. Incubation Druid is A-OK. -okay. okay, so as much as I would like to... We 
We just do this. We swing in. We'll hold a blight and strike. And pass turn. Next turn, if we draw a land, we can play Sarkon, though, and that'll be, be pretty nice. Yeah, I think the big thing with this deck is just keep them off all their mana things that they can do. So that's great. Play us a Sarkon. Have a dragon, so that way if he does play Nessa, we still have a way to block that land without dying. And then we can just attack in and kill this Nessa. Let's see if he's got it. We're actually like hoping for Nessa at this point, which never happens. Finale of Glory is interesting. Uh... He's almost dead. So let's see here. We got one, two, three. So we're going to play Rule Spellbreaker, haste it out this time. Plus Sarkon. Go to attacks. Go you, go you, go you, go you. You you figure it out with blocks. Blocking Mathis for blockers. Do double block. Double block all day, baby. And that's that's a that's a big old lethal right there. That was a terrible walk. What are you even doing? I didn't get to lightly strike you. Oy vey. GG. And their pitiful butts get up to another win in goal three. Let's go ahead and do one more, I guess. I mean, we're on a two-game hot streak, and for me right now, that's about as much as I can ask for. But we'll do this, and then call it a, call it a video from here, win or lose. Isaac Bullwinkle, you sound fancy, my friend. We'll take the play. Oh, oh gosh. We're going to keep because we got the Land of War Elf and the Thorn Lieutenant. Hopefully we can just draw a red source. Uh, Rootbound Crag is great. We'll leave that on top. Let's see what we're up against here. Steam Vents. Okay. We've not played anything is it a while. Hopefully he plays like an Electromancer here. Cool. So from here, a little shock there, and swing in for three. And now we're sort of looking for another red source here off the top to place Sarkin down. Let's see what he's got. Electromancer number two. And charting a chorus from Gus and Phoenix. Oh, another Electromancer. That's interesting. So this is actually a pretty good play here. Pretty good draw at least. Well, uh, minus here, he's got no mana open, so we'll have this Torn Lieutenant fight here. And now we'll swing five at him. And that feels pretty good. Let's see what he's got for this turn. We've already got rid of three election answers, so there's that. Isaac Bullwinkle is in the think tank. He's looking at his cards. I see him glowing. And Electromancer number four. Four Electromancers on the top 13. The boy's rigged. He's rigging the system right now, I tell you. I don't think Ops is usually what you want to go for here. Off of Electromancer. But he's keeping whatever he drew there. Is it a land? It is a land. Are you going to lob cool me? Well, I don't do that much there. Okay, especially with that. Um, so I'm thinking we add the red here. Play us a Sarkon. And then do I go aggro here or do I... Because I can swing seven at him this turn and get him down to four. That might just be enough. And honestly, that's, that may just be the play just to keep our... Uh, let's just make a dragon though. If he wants to, if he wants to block here, we'll take that all day. And if he wants to spend all of his turn trying to kill a Sarkon, we're also probably okay with that too. So we're not hitting land drops, but luckily we've been able to ramp into what we need. Okay, he radical ideas. No Phoenix in the yard quite yet, but that can change in a heartbeat. 
Rail is not a phoenix. And a good game. So we take game one, game two against this deck. Lava Cool is coming in all day. Uh, what else do we want here? Collision Colossus is pretty good, and Cinder Vines. Otherwise, do we just kind of keep it at that, I think? Ooze could be a nice little threat out of the sideboard, but I think it's just a little bit too cheeky. Uh, War Boss comes out here. He's awful. Thor Lieutenant is weird. He plays a lot of Shock, so we probably want this Land of War Elves out and just be a little bit slower here. I think we do this. We'll take out one more card. Uh... Yeah, I guess I guess the Thorn Lieutenant is probably the play to take out there. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. We'll go to the next game. Good lord. All this loses make me go crazy, folks. So Mr. Bullwinkle is on the play, and we'll keep this. We got a lava coil, we got Thorn Lieutenants. This ain't nothing to write home about. And that that pause right there at that, that mountain, he's got a shock, so. So we gotta take Olana Warriors out on the draw. You definitely don't want to wait two two turns for it. So he's got a Phoenix in there, which is good for him. Uh, so for here, we just place the Thorn Lieutenant and pass turn. Let's hope he doesn't pop off on us too hard. Main face scry. Shocking again. Yes, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine by me, baby. Uh, against this deck, you actually want to just uh, make your make your spellbreakers four fours. Uh, even though he does play lava coal, it can also block a, a Drake if he has it. That's been my strategy with it, anyways. Maybe that's just completely wrong. This also makes him spend like a lightning strike and a shock, that kind of thing, if he wants to get his Phoenix out of the yard. So he throws another Phoenix in there. The man's shocking himself to death, and he's going to get hurt. Uh, so here we just lava cool that because we don't want him to. We don't want him to do silly things next turn. Then we'll place a Thorn Lieutenant and we'll swing five. So next turn we got us a Hasty Boy to come out and hopefully win the game for us. Bacon Bolt ain't going to do it. Alright. Let's see if old Hellkite is enough. So yeah, so he's got to shock that to stay alive. But hey, at least that's like one more thing that you can't just pop off and kill us with. And from here, we just got a lot of pretty good draws. This is a lot to fight back through for him. Because even if he wants to Beacon Bolt here, he's going to need to do like two different one mana spells also to get his Phoenixes back. We also just have multiple draws at the top there, just pretty deadly. Crackling Drake ain't going to do it. Especially with the Lava Coal in hand. Good game. So, despite the losing streak we're on, we did get to get three in a row there, which feels pretty good, and... Sadly, we're climbing back up almost back to gold, too. Uh, slow, slow, steady progress here, I guess. But that's all we got, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Let's let's open up a pity pack, because I think we've earned yourself a pity pack at this point, don't you? We've also earned yourself a gutter snipe. So, let's go to the store. The static's back. Oh, Wayne Static has rose from the grave, and Static X on our asses. So, let's open this. And for all the troubles we've been through, at least we've been rewarded with a, an uncommon wild card and a mobilized district. Hope you all enjoyed. See you next time. Love you. Bye-bye.